Uriah Kaiser with you outside Station 20 of the Dale City Volunteer Fire and Rescue Department. It's, again, like I said, it's midnight and the snow is still falling, although it's coming down now in ice and sleet. So we may, at this point, see a reduction in the forecasted snow totals. Uh, that's what the meteorologists have been saying all day long. If we, if we get uh, close to that rain freezing snow line, the rain snow line, then we might see a reduction in totals. But, but as this storm is supposed to last all day Saturday, it's, it's hard to say how much snow that we'll end up with because uh, it's, it's showing no sign of stopping anytime soon. The roads, however, are quiet. Uh, people are heeding warnings, it, it seems, and, and staying home. Uh, the fire crew is what, what calls they are running. They're, they're running calls for people who are sick, uh, who need help uh, inside their homes for personal reasons. And there have been a number of power outages in the Lake Ridge area, in the Occoquan area, and, and Woodbridge. Uh, none none uh, so much in the Dale City area. And when you're not running calls, it's about being ready. It's about getting all your supplies in order, making sure that your fire trucks and ambulances are staffed. And it's also about making sure you have enough food on hand to keep your crew happy. Let me introduce you to Captain Eddie Dumeyer, who's working tonight at Dale City Fire Station 18. He's uh, making some ribs that uh, look good. Here in the dry rub right now. The goal I had was to try to make things for this weekend that would be quickly prepared and left if need be. So I figured with these, I could stick them in the hour, in the oven, be gone for three hours, come back, and I'd still be able to eat them. So this is only part of them. I've got another rack in the refrigerator, actually. And we're trying to feed six to seven or so. For how long? Uh, basically, we got a 45-hour shift that runs all the way through Monday morning at 6 a.m. Okay. Okay. From the kitchen, back outside to the to the streets where the plow crews are still working. You can actually hear one behind me right now. Uh, we talked to a few of the plow drivers tonight and they said they're gonna, they plan to be out for a long time. How late are you gonna be out? Till Tuesday, <laughs> probably. Till it's done, you gotta stay till it's done because uh, people pay good money, they need their service, so we'll get it done. We'll stay out till we, till we get it done. Back now in front of the firehouse, the sleet has changed over uh, back to snow. So, uh, it, oddly enough, it, it just illustrates how conditions continue to change with this storm. Uh, how you never know what you're going to get uh, as, as, as the hours go by. So, that's why we're going to remain here throughout the day Saturday to update you on conditions, closings, cancellations, everything you need to know about weathering this, this snowstorm of 2010. Our special thanks tonight to the Dale City Volunteer Fire and Rescue Department for having us out and showing us the conditions on the road. We couldn't have done it without them. So again, stay safe, stay warm, and uh, stay with InsideNova.com as we continue to tell you about the storm. Have a good night.